In this example, we're going to look at how to order positive and negative integers. In this problem, the record low temperatures for a town in Maine are negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit for January and negative 19 degrees Fahrenheit for February. We want to put these two numbers in the order from least to greatest. Remember, when we talked about number lines, we talked about one of the characteristics as being that the larger numbers are to the right. So if we drew our number line and took a look at this being 0, negative 10 being here, negative 20 being here, we would know that negative 10 is larger than negative 20 because it is to the right. 0 is larger than both negative 10 and negative 20 because it is to the right of both numbers. If we were to put negative 19 on this number line, it would be between negative 20 and negative 10, but it is to the right of negative 20, so it is the larger number. Negative 20 is smaller than negative 19 because it is to the left. So if I wanted to put, order my numbers from least to greatest, you really have to pay attention to whether you want the smallest number first, the least number, or the largest number first, the greatest number. In this case, we want it from smallest to biggest. So the smallest number of 20, or negative 20 and negative 19 is negative 20 then negative 19, so negative 20 is smaller than negative 19 because, this is where we're going to explain how we arrived at the order, because negative 20 is to the left of negative 19. Smaller numbers are to the left, larger numbers to the right. The order in least to greatest is negative 20, negative 19. In this example, we're looking at a card game. Three friends, Henry, Janin, and Clark, are playing a card game. The object of the game is to finish with the most points. The most points would be the highest or the greatest score. The scores at the end of the game are Henry, negative 7. Henry has negative 7 points. Janin has 0 points. And Clark has negative 5 points. We want to know who won the game and who came in last place. We're going to use a number line model to explain how we arrived at our answer. So first we need a number line. And on this number line, since we have negative numbers and zero, but no positive numbers, I'm going to put zero over to the right. And then because we have negative seven and negative five, I'm going to count by once. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and negative 8. My next step is to place all three of the scores on my number line. I know that Henry is negative 7, so I'm going to put a dot here and an H for Henry. I know that Janin had 0, so I'm going to put a dot here and a J for Janin. And Clark had negative 5, so I'll put a dot at negative 5 and a C for Clark. If I want to know who won the game, that is the greatest score. Who came in last place, that is the least score or the smallest score. So Janin won the game because his score of 0 is the furthest to the right on the number line. And is 
is the largest number. Henry lost the game because his score of negative 7 is the furthest to 2 the left. That means it's the smallest number. Well, that's how you order integers. Remember, the smaller numbers are always to the left of the larger numbers on a number line, and larger numbers are to the right of the smaller numbers. If you see the word least, it means you're looking for the smallest number. If you see the word greatest, it means you're looking for the largest number. Be sure to check what order the problem is asking for. One way to help figure out the order is to plot the points on a number line. Watch the video again if you need to, and then answer the questions in the homework. I'll see you tomorrow.